Hello. Today we're going to talk a little bit about one of North Carolina's coolest water birds, the double-crested cormorant. First, let's talk a little bit about the classification of this bird. The scientific name of the double-crested cormorant is Phallocrocerax aratus. The bird is a member of the order Siluriforms and a member of the family Phallocrocerasidae. There are currently five known subspecies of the double-crested cormorant. Next, let's talk a little bit about how to identify the double-crested cormorant. The double-crested cormorant is a large water bird that has a very long, slender neck. The bird reaches lengths up to 35 inches long and can be up to 6 pounds in weight. The bird has a very distinctive orange face and bill that can be seen from a distance. The feathers are generally dark brown or black and have a mottled appearance. The birds have webbed feet to help them swim in the water, and unlike anhingas, which are a bird that they can be easily um, mixed up with, they float, their body floats on the surface of the water when they swim. Double-crested cormorants are a fairly common water bird in North America and can be found throughout the entirety of the continental United States. In North Carolina, most of the birds that are seen are simply migrating through, although on the coast there are some resident populations. Currently, the double-crested cormorant is not a threatened species, but in the past there were declines in populations due to pesticides. Now let's talk a little bit about the habitat needs of double-crested cormorants. The single most important thing for double-crested cormorants when choosing habitat is water. They require bodies of water that are large enough to support fish populations as they eat primarily fish. Any stream or pond or river or lake in North Carolina is likely to be a habitat for double-crested cormorants. Last, let's talk about the life history of the double-crested cormorant. The double-crested cormorant can reach up to 22 years in age. Their diet consists mostly of fish, which they dive underwater to catch, but occasionally will eat crustaceans and amphibians also. Unlike most other water birds, their feathers do not have very much preen oil in them. Because of this, their feathers tend to get waterlogged when they swim. You can often see them sunning afterwards, which means they will sit out on a log or a pole or something with their wings spread out to dry their feathers. That's shown in the top picture on this slide. Males build large nests to attract females, and these nests can either be built on the ground or in trees or other structure, and they are often built in large colonies. Clutch size in double-crested cormorants can range from one to seven eggs. The chicks are born altricial, meaning they don't have any feathers and they are blind, and basically helpless at birth. During mating season, specific features show on birds, such as turquoise eyes, double crests above the eyes made of feathers, and a blue interior of the mouth. 